So last night there was a vote in Parliament uh, on an amendment for whether we should stay in the single market. Now, many people, especially uh, young people, um, very much value the single market. It means you can uh, travel and work and live abroad without anyone's permission. It's not something that's just a right reserved for the rich, which is uh, basically what the Brexiters want, because if you take away the automatic right to do something, then obviously you're going to have to buy that right. And we've already seen that with talk about minimum income levels and things for uh, immigration. So uh, there's a lot of young people who um, voted in 2017 for the Labour Party because they think or they thought that uh, a vote for Labour would be a vote for a softer Brexit. Now, Labour were key not to dispel that because um, they they know that they uh, a lot of young people are sympathetic for their social justice um, or newly found social justice policies. So they kept quiet about what they actually really wanted. Um, now, last night uh, we saw the Labour front bench abstain from the amendment and whip to abstain. So basically what they're saying to the young people that supported them is uh, they don't actually want a soft Brexit, they are quite keen on a hard Brexit. Now, you know, that's disappointing probably for a lot of people. Uh, it means that the official opposition pretty much agree with the Conservatives on the sort of Brexit that we want. Um, the reality is that if they had whipped to vote for that amendment, the government could have been defeated because many Conservatives are not happy with a hard Brexit. So uh, it does turns out that Corbyn and the Labour front bench um, voted to um, uh, go with a hard Brexit, which is to make everyone poorer and uh, lose your rights to live and work abroad. Um, this is going to be sad news for some, but completely expected by others, because Corbyn has never really hidden the fact that he is uh, really not, pretty, not particularly keen on the EU. Uh, John McDonnell said this morning that um, they don't, I mean, he explicitly confirmed that Labour do not support remaining in the single market. So this message is basically to say Labour are not going to uh, provide the soft Brexit that you're hoping for. If you want a party that believes in social justice and to uh, remain in single market and all of the economic benefits that that will bring, then the Green Party is really your only option. Um, it's that simple. Uh, I think Labour have let down a lot of their young voters. And as we see, you know, it's very easy to have all this rhetoric, isn't it, of um, of caring for the, what young people really believe in. But time and time again, we see when it comes to actual votes, whether that's leaving the single market or not voting for uh, the NHS reinstatement bill. So um, not voting against the snooper's charter. It's just it's just rhetoric and you've got to see the votes in Parliament and what actually matters. Um, so please support a party that will actually vote for what you believe in and what they believe in.